it's, it's mostly for environmental reasons. As, as the world looks today, there will be a, a big increase of uh, textile fibers need. We have to find other solutions than, than the ones we have today. T uh, the toughest challenge is, is, um, is to, to have something that is really stiff and without elastics and, and make something that should be soft. That is a little bit of, a, of a, the secret of the project. Paper is a an, an good option due to that, that it is based on, on Swedish forestry. Uh, the project is to, to investigate if it's possible to, to uh, recycle it in, in the way we are recycling paper today. And of course it's also a bio-based material. It's a very nice dress, I think. It's made of 100% of, uh, Swedish paper. There we have made a yarn, and out of that uh, we have knitted and, and uh, dyed it and, and make a really nice fabric out of it. Uh, we we of, often got the, got the question, is it uh, possible to wash? Uh, and I will say that it's, it is possible to wash. I think that, that you can expect to have paper clothing or, or, or garments in uh, three years time or something like that, depending a little bit on how, how long it will take to, to reach the market and get the market to accept paper. In, if, in the future, I really do hope that the paper is an option when it comes to textile and clothing. Uh, it, it could be in, in interior design, it could be for, for garments and so. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, we could solve how to, to have the right um, uh, characteristics for making good textiles, which people want to wear and have in their homes. Mm -hmm.